Hey guys, today I'm gonna be talking about this new upcoming AOT game. Uh, by the time this is released, this video, um, the game should drop. And uh, yeah, let's just talk about it. So uh, our first point is going to be our visuals. Visuals, personally, I think they're really great and the map designing is well done. Like you could actually tell like the detail that they put into the map designing. Although uh, the map and stuff is it's pretty good, right? But it has like clipping bugs with the ODM and stuff. But um, once you get past that, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. All right. So now I'm gonna talk about the uh, gameplay mechanics. They're pretty good, right? But I have like a few problems with them, you know, like um, Titan killing and all that stuff. So let's talk about the uh, pros and cons of the uh, mechanics. So yeah, right here, I'm in the uh, testing place. I'm gonna uh, show you guys some um, mechanics. So right here is uh, uh, like sliding with the ODM gear. You could like kind of see the effects and stuff. The effects in my opinion are really nice um so that's sliding and then right here is like a mountain on the um walls or whatever you could mount on trees walls whatever and then um the odm boosting you just hold space when you um up whatever it's like that um this game the mechanics uh are pretty smooth it kind of Kinda of resembles um freedom of weight if you've uh, played it. Um, yeah, they're actually pretty good and smooth. I think there's another mechanic I'm missing. Uh, I'm I'm not sure. I'll probably uh, check it later. But yeah, now let's talk about Titan killing. Oh my god. So one thing that I hate about the game is like Titan killing. You you basically like have to um blind the titan because there's like no limb cutting or anything and, and like the hitbox is kind of small and like you see since there's no limb cutting you could just instantly get grabbed and killed which is like you know, very annoying in my opinion because you really just can't fight back one thing that i recommend to the developers is uh add like limb cutting to um whenever you get grabbed you know so if you get grabbed like a teammate or something could just like limb cut you out of it and then like save you the owner was talking about limb cutting is uh locked behind lore which is kind of cool and all but I, I definitely think like you should at least like at least like i like limb health you know i get that they don't want to like make it easy to limb cut and like only through lore but just like even a little something is like good to prevent absolute death you know and like at least add um startup to the uh titan grabbing because they like literally just instant grab you like i could show you right now wait let me just grab real quick uh yeah you see like the titan was running and then it just, it just instant grabbed you just uh just annoying I don't know this clip is a uh, kind of like a bad representation but um you'll definitely see it when you get into the game I really like the uh, neat details but um the other mechanic that i want to go over is compass this thing is actually really nice and um it's it's pretty um worth it like uh with like the horse and stuff so you know um let's say you're about to go like raid somewhere in the forest or i don't i don't really know what they're gonna do for lore like um with all the all the uh corpse and stuff so um like let's say you're in the survey corpse you're gonna have to be like scouting outside of the walls it's gonna be like you are gonna have to do comms and stuff um to get to your teammate and like help them out um so you could like use the compass or you could use the uh flares to like send out signals um, and that's like old war stuff. No, those are the uh, signals. Pretty neat. 
But yeah, just to sum it up, my problem, like my only problem is um like instant death from Titans and it's kind of like unavoidable, you know? Everything else is good in my opinion. But yeah, that's just really it for the mechanics and stuff. All right, so for the lore and story, uh, this game, um, heavily lore. So it's kind of like Birdcage in a way, but R15 and like a little bit harder. Uh, they have a lot of stuff set up. So they got, you know, the corpse as usual, um, bloodlines, all that stuff. I'm not too like knowledge on what they're doing right now. Cause I haven't been that active, you know, I've been playing other games and stuff. So yeah, I can't really say much, but uh, basically what you just do is join the trainee corpse. And then I'm pretty sure like you advance from that to um, like an official corporation. So like military, oh my God, military or survey corpse, you know, and uh, just progress from there and then that's how you get your uh, replayability. You climb the ranks. If you uh, wipe, you <laughs> climb the ranks again. You know, just like any other game. That's lore. I'm going to be playing the game, so like I'll probably make like uh, another video and like let y'all know how like my uh, lore playthrough is, because that's what I primarily want to do. That's what I make like videos of. There's lore games and there's progression through it. All right, that's all I have for today. Um, definitely check out the game. It's interesting. I can't say too much, but it has a lot of potential, you know.